Hey guys, this is Tona and today we've got some very exciting news. So the news that I have been hearing is a new rumor. Now this is coming from the same person who passed me some information about Dr. Doom. So it's still unproven yet. I am hopeful and I do kind of trust this person. So I am, uh, I'm definitely willing to put myself out there and say that I think that this stuff is stuff that can definitely be happening very soon. Now, from what I've been hearing is the next legendary will be Blade. Now, this is obviously unconfirmed, still a rumor, but I think it kind of makes sense them to do a supernatural legendary. Now, from what I was hearing, uh, basically they were planning on doing a legendary symbiote in December, and then they've ended up switching those around. So that way the uh, supernatural characters come in December instead and the symbiotes are coming now. I'm not sure entirely why they've done it or switched it around like this. I assume it's got something to do with maybe Dark Dimension 4, finishing up, getting people more to finish Dark Dimension 3, maybe just kind of getting people's uh, raid teams ready. Um, what direction they're going to be taking this team, I have no idea. There's a few different directions that we've kind of, um, I was spitballing about earlier with a few people. Uh, potentially they're going to be like an in-war team, similar to how uh, Dr. Octopus came along, came along with a couple extra buddies who all had like in-war buffs, something potentially like that. Or they could be potentially making the supernatural into like a premier raid team. I'm thinking something that's better than symbiotes. I think they do have a solid foundation to get that started and having characters like Blade could potentially bring them up to that new level. If they have stuff like defense up on spawn or having an ongoing defense up, they're already going to be starting better off than symbiotes who are very susceptible to early damage. So something like that could potentially bring them up. If you look back at the timeline when they had, um, they had Ultima 6 come out. They had several different raiding teams come out in uh, in short order. They had stuff like the Defenders, followed by Shield, followed by Mantis and the Guardians, the Kree, and then obviously the Wakandans who were kind of a bit of failure, but you kind of get the drift. Those kinds of characters came in succession. So if they potentially want to do more characters that are raid focused, they could potentially move the supernatural in that direction. Obviously, Doctor uh, Doctor Strange is already a very good character for that. You've got characters like um, Ghost Rider who pump out a fair bit of damage. Uh, you've got Elsa who can help you uh, take on anyone who's dodging and just being able to provide some damage there, as well as the fact that she gives some extra accuracy to avoid those uh, blinds and stuff. Now, this team obviously would be really fun in my opinion. I really enjoy the Supernatural. Supernatural is actually getting me some war defense wins at the moment. I'm really interested to see what direction they take them. So Blade as the legendary is potentially what I am hearing um, coming shortly. Now, obviously with his kit, he's got a few different ways they can take him as well. I'm suspecting that he's going to be a brawler. Um, like a city or global uh, bio brawler. Now it could be mystic, mystical bio. Both of them could potentially be the case. Obviously his uh, abilities are bio, like he's, they're a part of his biology. But then again, um, they could be mystical. Same way that uh, Scarlet Witch's powers are technically a part of her biology, but uh, we'll see as to which direction they kind of take her, uh, take him there. Now, different things like he could be having stuff like dodge to kind of keep him alive, maybe having dodge for his team, uh, super strength. I assume that he's going to have a really good, he's going to be the first legendary that comes out after ISO. So I'm suspecting that they'll probably make him a striker, similar to how Black Bolt is such a really good striker. Having uh, obviously Blade be a really good striker would make sense as well. Maybe something to do with blood as well, like uh, any kind of bleeds, heal him on his turn. He deals extra damage to characters that have bleed or something like that would be really cool. Now, again, just a, just a disclaimer, this is a rumor that I'm hearing. We're not entirely sure if it's going to be happening, but I'm kind of, I, I definitely can think of um, the ways that this can kind of work. The other thing is that he does have the ability to take contaminants out of anybody, put them into himself and then transfer them back in like a, bl uh, in like a bite kind of thing. So I'm suspecting that could be like, 
taking all of the debuffs from his team and then putting them onto the enemy, similar to how you've got um, Silox Ultimate. Or what he could do is take all the debuffs from his team, flip them all into positive effects, and then spread them out or something. There's a few different ways they can kind of uh, Im implement something like that. I think that he would be really cool, and I think that um, I'm really excited to see what direction they're taking him. I actually, the other day, I was uh, I was asleep in bed, and I woke up in the morning, and then I just had this really, this draw towards Supernatural, and I, it was a Supernatural draw <laughs> towards Supernatural, but I don't know. It was just really strange, and then I heard about this news, and I'm like, what is going on? Anyway, uh, along the same lines as that, I have heard that there's also potentially going to be Michael Morbius. Now, obviously, the Morbius movie is meant to be coming out next year. However, because of the fact that it was delayed, they could potentially bring him in earlier and then have other characters kind of tie into the Morbius movie. Obviously, we do know that She-Hulk is having a TV show as well, but they did bring her into the game. So just because someone's having a show or a movie coming out in the future doesn't potentially mean that they're not on the track to be released now. However, they could potentially have been pushed back Morbius and just bring us Blade or something like that. That is also an option. Uh, definitely bio. Morbius has to be bio. He's not technically a vampire. He's like a, a vampire that's artificial essentially. So I think it would be really cool to have him uh, and see how they kind of implement him into the game. Um, I'm really excited for that movie as well. It looks really cool. Now, what other rumors may I have heard around the same time that this stuff is coming out? Potentially, we're going to be looking at a hand rework. A hand rework would be really cool. The fact that hand are so based around um, like dodge and evade kind of makes me, it makes me think that they're both going to be linked. They'll bring hand in as a really good war defense team, similar to how they rework Taskmaster and Mercs and um, Colson Shield, etc., etc. Bringing in hand, making them an evade based uh, war defense team and then bringing out um, Blade to kind of help bring Supernatural up even more because we all know that Elsa is a character that goes really well against people with evades and it would be interesting to see how they can kind of they're looking at keeping Elsa on the team is what I've heard so that would be cool and I think I'd really like that um Obviously, uh, that means that you're likely going to be looking at new characters being added to hand or at least one new character. My guesses are either going to be Gorgon. Um, it's, the interesting thing is that all of these characters that I looked at were mutants, um, but Gorgon um, would be a really cool one to get added in there. He's very tied into the hand. Um, he's been a leader of the hand a couple times now. It'd be really cool to kind of see him being implemented into the game as well. You've got Quanon, Quanon, I'm not very good at pronouncing that name. Also very tied into the um, into the hand, uh, was implemented into the hand very early on in her life after she uh, they kidnapped her daughter, body swapped with um, body swapped with Psylocke, etc., etc. Uh, so I think, I'm not sure, it would be interesting if they did implement her, but they might think, oh, hey, it's just Psylocke. Everyone might get them confused or something, so they might kind of skip her out on her. The other one, the last one that I think is an option would be Typhoid Mary. Again, a mutant, um, but I think that she's also very tied to the hand. When you think of hand, there's not very many characters that we don't have already. Um, you've already got like Electra, who's like the main character that a lot of people think of as uh, in the hand. They've got Nobu from the TV show. There's potentially other characters from the TV shows that they might pull. But again, they don't really, they're kind of skipping out on those TV shows. Marvel's kind of moved on from them. Um, everyone else is kind of moving on from them as well. Um, as for her, she's got various different abilities based on like an identity order, a dis uh, uh, bleh, multiple identities kind of thing. So it would be interesting to see if they can kind of implement that in some kind of form switching or something like that. Um, maybe she gets empowered or something. I don't know. That'd be cool. There'd be cool different ways that they can kind of look at implementing that. 
Now, back to the uh, the Blade and the Supernatural, what I've been hearing is that it's going to be Scarlet Witch who gets removed from the team. She's the one that they're looking at replacing with a new character. Obviously, if you've got Morbius there as well, uh, if he does have the Supernatural team, um, then he may potentially be on that. Not sure how much he fits into the Supernatural team, um, obviously because he's not actually a vampire, but it'll be interesting to see if they do implement him in there. So that means that they're going to be looking at kicking Scarlet Witch off. That means that they will likely kind of, they want to make it so that you're incentivized to obviously add these characters, which is pretty easy. You just make like chargeable Supernatural or something like that. That means that your core characters are going to be stuff like Ghost Rider, Blade, and then potentially Morbius if um, Morbius is chargeable, similar to how you've got the chargeable Sinister Six. But to replace Scarlet Witch, you probably want to make it so that she has synergy with someone else, which, I mean, is pretty obvious who they're going to make synergy with. You've got Vision. Vision, she already has some synergy with, but intensifying that synergy between the two would just be crazy. It also gives you kind of um, a tie-in to go with the Scarlet Witch TV show. They do kind of do those kind of tie-ins every once in a while. I'd be interested to see what they do here. I would really like for them to get some different looks. Like I'd love for the costumes to come out in December. Costumes in December would be my number one dream. Um, I have heard mention of costumes previously. I haven't heard anything recently though. So I'd be interested to see how they can kind of work these two in together. Obviously they both have the Avengers tag. There's like a few other characters that have the Avenger tag who don't currently have a team. Um, if we have a look at the actual Avengers tag uh, here, you've got like, oh, you've got Wave 1 Avengers as well, but they're not counted. You've got like Black Panther who doesn't currently really have a team because a lot of his teams kind of been split up in other areas. They so could potentially put him with him. You've got Ant-Man coming with a team shortly. I don't know. It would be interesting to see what they do here. There's a couple different directions they can take this. They could take Blade and they could make like uh, either the Avengers of the Supernatural or uh, the Midnight Suns as well. Midnight Suns is another option that they might implement there. Um, if you have a look at the actual Midnight Suns, a fair few of their current Supernatural characters do uh, find like they are on there. You've got Doc Strange there. You've got Blade potentially coming. You've got Elsa, um, a fair few of the former members as well. You've got Ghost Rider there. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what they kind of do there. I'm, I'm excited though. Blade is... Blade is just really, really cool. I can't wait for them to add him to the MCU as well. Um, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Are you excited for Blade and Supernatural potentially getting a rework? Um, are you excited for the hand rework more? Or are you more excited for Scarlet Witch and Visions rework? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys had a great day and goodbye.